Shining Stars, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day, night, whatever it may be. Know that you're awesome and amazing and I'm so glad you clicked on my video today. If you wanna be a part of our beautiful Shining Star family, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on the fun. For those of you guys who have been following me on social media, I made a little update video across the board um, on my daddy and how he's doing. Um, he has cancer for those of you guys who don't know and he's at the stage four right now and so um, I kind of did a little life update video on my Instagram snapchat and my Facebook explaining uh, just how he's doing and so I really appreciate the prayers for my family and for healing for my dad I'm still remain hopeful and believe in a miracle um, but right now if you guys may be wondering I have a head phone set in um, because I have my daddy on FaceTime right now. It's just set up in his room, um, kind of watching him and uh, my siblings and um, family have been taking shifts just 24 hours watching him and I just love being able to see him. It's probably about 3 a.m. over there, um, but I just kind of have this so I can hear what's going on, just in case you're wondering. In today's tutorial, I am super excited because my beautiful friend Candy Johnson, oh my goodness, she is my absolute favorite YouTuber. Um, hands down, I just love her spirit. I love her uh, just encouragement. She's always so kind and full of life. Just beautiful, beautiful inside and out. She's the real deal, y'all, and I love her. So when I found out she was doing a collaboration with Too Faced, I was just like, yes! I'm honestly anticipating her own makeup line, but until then, this is definitely holding me over. At first, I thought it was all sold out and I missed it, but then she texted me and said she actually sent it to me, but it was the wrong address. So she got the address right, and lo and behold, so this is the makeup palette that I'm gonna use to help create this look and it straight up comes in an old-fashioned like candy tin that says I want candy on it and there's a little sticker of candy on there so cute it's like a little cartoon candy and then on the back it has like the candy boxes come with all the different shadows that look like chocolates on the back which I'm in love with and for those of you who know me I love anything that smells like a baked good cotton candies, cookies baking in the oven, cinnamon dulce latte, y'all. And the moment you open this tin, you get hit with a wave of candy goodness. Seriously, you guys, it smells like yummy sugar, yum, scrum deliciousness. So this is what it looks like inside. There's a mixture between matte and shimmery shadows and these guys here at the bottom. It's almost like they have their own individual little quads going on there. It also comes with a candy glow luminizer stick and this stuff is so beautiful. And again, smells like candy. Little like specks of glitter in there. Yes. And a black licorice liquid liner, which has a really cool tip to it. Banana pudding brightening face powder. And look at, if you guys could see, there's like, it's almost like confetti. Uh, little specks are in there and it smells like bananas. This collection is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And finally, it comes with these awesome melted matte liquid lipsticks. And these things are amazing and they smell delicious as well. So now that I did a little overview of the collection, let's start on this Candy Girl inspired look, shall we? Starting off with the eyes, I'm going to apply my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and this is gonna act as a nice sticky base so I could apply those colors and it will be popping. Smooth it gently with my fingers all over the lid area. So now that I have that nice and evenly applied on my lid, I'm gonna go into my I Want Candy palette. It's just so cool to me that I'm saying that. I Want Candy palette! And I'm gonna take whipped cream, this nice shimmery highlighting color here, and I'm gonna apply it to the inner corner and to my eyebrow, brow bone area for a nice shimmer and shine. Whoa! That stuff is intense and right into the brow bone area as well. It's okay if it's a little messy because we're just gonna clean it up as we go. And if you're ever just doing um, makeup regardless of look, if you wanna add a little pop to the eye, just place 
that nice brightening color in the inner corner and it'll help it out. Moving right along, I'm gonna take this frosted pink color here, beautiful shimmery pink, and I'm just gonna place it in, working it to the center of my lid area. Then I'm gonna take sugared strawberry and I'm gonna apply it towards the middle of the lid and working it towards the end as well. Just really wanna get the middle area. And then I'm gonna take that other shimmery shadow, Sweet Toffee, and I'm gonna apply it to the end of the lid. Moving on from the shimmery colors, I'm gonna go into a matte color, and this is the shadow Pastry, and I'm just going to blend it into the crease area. Mm, smells so good, mother! And we just wanna blend out them edges. And then I'm gonna take hot chocolate and raspberry cocoa and put it into the crease to create more depth and dimension. Mmm, hot, 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 hot chocolate. Working it. A little hint drop there. I'm gonna be working on one of my favorite movies ever Trolls. I love you so much, Daddy. <laughs> He's smiling. I liked where that raspberry cocoa was going um, with that bit of raspberry, so I think I'm gonna go in with like a reddish pink and kind of add that in there too. So I'm gonna mix my NYX's Hot Fuchsia and my Max Ready together and kind of blend that out in the area. And I'm just gonna take what's on my brush and kind of sweep it underneath my eyeballs. Blend, 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 blend. I turned up the blend, 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 blend. Looking a little like a crazy lady. But after we add the liner and lashes and stuff, it will pull it together, I promise. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of the black licorice in there for more depth and more dimension. Oh, I love you, Daddy. He said, my princess. Now that I've got my eyes just the way that I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and take that black eyeliner, uh, black licorice, and land my lips. Now I'm gonna add it on the bottom lash line. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes for some lift. Then I'm gonna add one of my favorite mascaras lately. It's the Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof from L'Oreal. Just starting at the base of the lashes and wiggling upward. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Time for falsies! And for this one, I'm using my Slong Perfect lashes in 625. And then I'm also gonna pop on these like Halloween type lashes that I got. And they're very dull like looking. And I think I got these at Walmart. Wally World! Taking my duo lash adhesive, I'm just gonna squirt a little here. I like to do it like this because I don't like to put the tube directly on the lash and go and it get everywhere. So I'm gonna let that get tacky and thank God for tweezers because it makes applying lashes oh so more easier. So I'm gonna get as close as the lash line as possible. And then I'm gonna take the tweezers and just adjust accordingly. Oh yeah, but that's not enough for me so I'm gonna add those second pair. Voila! Oh, thank you, baby! Yes! Jacob brought me some iced coffee. This cup is from my amazing cousin Courtney, Cups by Court. Wifey for lifey, baby. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. It's you. So I also added some bottom falsies as well as white liner on the waterline to make my eyes really pop. Now I'm just gonna fill in my brows with my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Pandemonium. Now I'm just gonna go over to set them in with some purple shadow and I'm just using this purple from my peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly palette from Too Faced. Kind of brush them out with the spoolie. Spoolie. Just trying to say that word. Spoolie. Now I'm going to begin to contour with a bit of purplish and pink. Now I'm just adding a little bit of a white base to my cheeks. And then I'm going to go over it with this really super pink awesome blush called Code Breaker from NYX. Now that I got my cheeks nice and rosy, very, very rosy, I'm gonna go back in with the whipped cream highlighter and I'm just gonna pop it on my nose, just the tip of it. And then on my uh, Cupid's bow as well. <laughs> now to make this candy girl makeup really cool, we're gonna add some sprinkles. Uh, star sprinkles at that, oh yes. So I got my tweezers here and I laid down my lash glue and I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on one by one. And of course, it wouldn't be a Christmas star tutorial without some glitter. And this is my MAC Glitter Reflex. And I think this is opal or pearl. And I'm just gonna splash that on there along with some hard candy sprinkles too. Ooh. Ooh. And I got this really cool chunky glitter from Amazon, but it's just like the perfect kind of confetti chunky glitter. And finally for my lips, I'm gonna go back to that purple liner and then I'm gonna fill it in with some of the Candy's Melted Liquid Lipstick. Also using Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 16C. colorful candy girl inspired look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much uh, fun creating this look for you guys. And I just wanted to mention that my adorable dress right here is from my friend Cursa Sparkle Shop. And it is her, I think it's a sweetheart dress or heartbreak. I, I'll link it down in um, the description box below. Please don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. And remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Mwah.